Yeah, I think it's just a very scary prospect. Um, you know, the town has suffered for years at the hands of the dump and of Premier Proteins, and it's the last thing we really need in town. Things are improving. Uh, Seamus Duffy mentioned with the BACD, they're trying to get industry and jobs into town, and this is the last thing we need. It's just not good. It's not good for our health either. Well, I'm very much against it, or any, anything to do with... Like, we, we did all this before. We marched. We, we sat up there. We sat up there at night in a caravan objecting to all this and like here we go again and they they crept it in the la they let it, allowed it to come the last time certainly i'm not prepared to let it happen again there's too many health issues and everything in this town every second person you meet now is cancer i'm totally 100 percent behind this campaign um two years ago we set up accessibility balance law which was designed to promote a healthy and accessible inclusive environment and i see the likes of this trucks in the landfill as a hindrance to the work we've been doing and as i said when you're trying to promote a town, the likes of this landfill site or storage facility, they can put whatever name they want there, will only be seen as a negative. And it's something that Banasso doesn't need. Banasso is a town with so much potential. And as a group and as a community, together, if we stand together, we can develop it and ensure that we get back to where we were. Well, I'd have, I'd have a number of concerns. First of all, I'd have a concern for my own immediate locality. I live within... Uh, half a mile of the proposed development so any of the trucks the trucks that were mentioned here tonight uh, and it seems to be an awful lot in terms of the tonnage that's involved be passing my door every day on a road that doesn't have footpaths so it, it's already dangerous this would render it to be completely unsafe for anybody walking or cycling and especially for young children on another level, from the point of view of Balnaslow, Balnaslow has suffered quite a bit of uh, stigma from having this uh, facility put in a number of years ago, the, the super dump. And now we're talking again about a dump related facility. I know, strictly speaking, the term dump may be not that accurate, but what are we talking about? We're talking about bringing waste into Balnaslow from all over the west of Ireland and the Midlands, storing it, transferring it on. But it will be there and it will cause problems. Plus the fact, wh why do the operators of this current um, operation, Barna Waste, need 73 acres? I don't think they'll be farming in the ground that I believe they have bought. There's obviously further um, operations in view, so I am very concerned and very discouraged by the um, utterings of politicians here tonight. I think the only thing that's left for us people of Balnaslow is like it was before, people power. I compliment the, the councillors who attended. It's not a, a nice uh, environment to come into, um, but I still feel that there has been a failure um, at that level in relation to the information that was um, issued or has been filtered out to the, the, the general public that lives in Banlaslaw and its surrounding areas. Well, I know the councillors, uh, fair play, they showed up, and I mean, I respect them for that. And I know that they're often in the firing line for... Um, everything that goes wrong but I mean whereas they mean well and they've said all the right things I still don't know what they're going to do about it and as a number of people said here tonight why did they not know that this was coming down the tracks and warn us of it why do we ourselves having elected these people have to still uh, find out for ourselves and find a way to defend our communities from these kind of undesirable uh, industrial developments in a residential area.